hi guys welcome back to the channel i know you're struggling with uh, making soft chapatis just like the one you've seen and this is the secret to it um making the, your dough to have a very elastic um feel and this is exactly what i'm going to be showing you on this video so i hope you enjoy the video please give it a like if you learn something out of it and these are the ingredients we are going to be using uh, these chapatis are going to be malenge chapatis butternut chapatis to be precise so that is it exactly and i'm not going to spend a lot of time especially on showing you how to make this because it's just a straightforward thing and uh, right there i've mashed i've first of all boiled the malenges the butternut and then i've crushed them and mashed them up into a very soft paste put them in a bowl added some water and uh, some salt and now i'm just mixing it up to make um, a nice paste tested the salt it's good and now let's proceed to the most important bit of this all which is the kneading part so if you want to learn how to make the best chapatis please watch especially the kneading part because this is where you're going to be doing your most and the most important bit so keep watching you don't want your need to be by the time you are done doing it you don't want it to be sticky on your hand okay that's the first tip you don't want it to be sticky on your hand and uh, i want you to give yourself about 10 minutes of kneading just about 10 minutes of kneading okay so from the point you start adding in everything and then now you start kneading your flour give yourself 10 minutes of kneading it is very important so you need to knead until you are not seeing lumps of flour anymore i hope that is making sense you need until you can't see more lumps of flour so at this point i thought my my dough was going to be hard that's why i reduced the flour that was there and continued kneading so as i was continuing then i noticed that my dough is still sticky a little bit on my hand and as i said you don't need your dough to be sticky so i went ahead to add up the all the flour that was in that bowl the green bowl again please just take note of the kneading part because as i said it's the most important part of it all and i think it's what is consisted most on this video So there i've added some oil um the the cowboy oil i just melted it a little bit on uh, sulfuria or a cooking pan that is where i just um, melted it a little bit and then i went ahead to add like uh, two or three tablespoons of the same on my dough and continue to knead 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 let this be like your gym for turning your arms <laughs> if that makes sense so at this point as you can see this is how my dough is looking like and it's breaking as i try to stretch it out i cover it up and uh, i set it aside for 13 minutes so we are back 30 minutes later and this is how my dough is looking like it's stretchy and this is what you need to see when you're done and letting your dough rest for about 30 minutes if it's not this stretching then you did not do a good job but if it is that stretchy then you did a great job and your chapatis are going to be good so now let's go ahead and start folding and making our small balls <music> So from this point going ahead it's 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 normal and nothing uh, an ex nothing extra is needed just the normal rolling and uh, cutting it into small strips and rolling them into balls that's just it's nothing serious happening here the most important bit is the kneading part as i said from the beginning <music> So i hope this video is making sense i hope it's helping someone out there please give it a like if it is helping you comment down below if you have been struggling with uh, making good chapatis let me know and let me know what your mistake has been from what you've seen or how you've been doing it different if your chapatis are good and you you do it different from how i did mine
we learn every day so that is me done with the rolling and those are the balls that we are going to be making chapatis out of now this is the bit where we roll and just uh, go straight to the so I like to roll from side to side and don't panic when your chapati is going to come in the way because you've not put enough um, love on your surface and guys my surface is cut a little clean I clean that surface every time before I do my chapati so let's um, be adding uh, to the go in there as you go on your surface so that it doesn't stick So in the meantime as you start rolling your chapatis please make sure you put your pan on the fire so that it starts um, burning up ipate moto <laughs> if that makes sense eka kara yako kwa moto ianze kupata moto as you start rolling your chapatis so that by the time you are done with the first one kara iko na moto ya kutosha and then you proceed on cooking so guys basically that's just it and make sure you just work out, just add, add enough oil okay not too much not too little so what i do first is i cook the chapatis on both sides before adding oil put it aside i like to cook two of them at a go so i cook uh, without oil on both sides put it aside place another one on the cooking pan and then do the same I place the one that i had cooked on top of that i hope that makes sense because it's what you guys are seeing so and then after that I proceed to now to adding some oil as I cook on all the sides. So basically that's just how I do my chapatis and these are malenge chapatis and as you can see my chapatis are looking quite good and uh, be folding them as you go it helps to loosen up the, the what the pages as people like to call it. So yeah, leave your comments down below. This is me doing my malenge chapatis and decided to share them with you guys. I hope it has been helpful. I hope you've learned a thing or two. So share with me on the comment section how you do yours differently and let's learn together. Thank you so much guys for watching my video. Please give it a like. If it was helpful, give it a like. Share it with a friend or two. Okay, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye. Oh,